definitely has been a while since we've had a sleep, I'm sure. Oh, okay, cool. So there's actually like an area we can travel around near our apartment. Also, I did mention that I found it funny that you lived in a hotel, but it is an apartment. I guess I just misremembered. No big deal. Enter. Order, Kiryu. Come on. Beer is not enough. I know. I don't want to be expecting anyone else. Nishiki, did you say anything about Kashiwagi? No, nothing. That's right. But when you came back, I was like, I'm going to eat a lot of ramen. それまではむっつり黙って何にも喋らなかったんだけどなあの人らしい<笑>だろそうかあのクゼがえんこ詰めることになるとはな<笑>何が起きるかわからねえもんだああだがまだこれからだ若頭補佐の3人のうちの誰かが空の一つを手にすりゃ風間のおやつさんは組を追われるそれに俺の殺しの濡れ衣も晴らさねえと殺に目つけられたらもう終わりだそのことなんだけどよキリュウ実はな東高クレジットの社長さっき殺されたぞ何ニュースになったら会社の中で撃ち殺されてたらしいあの社長はクゼの指示でお前を空の一つぼにおびき出したんだろう多分クゼがその口封じに殺させたんだクゼはあいつはそんなに簡単に人を殺すのかあのバカなんだってやるさてめえの身を守るためだだからよ正面切ってクゼから真犯人聞き出すってのは相当難しいぜ他のやり方考えないと他のやり方いやそんなもんがありゃ苦労しねえか錦お前橘不動産って知ってるかあ橘不動産組を抜けた後その橘って男が来たんだ空の一つを手にするために協力しろとな奴は俺の濡れ衣を晴らせるとも言っていたおい待てギリュウ俺知ってるぞこの橘不動産奴ら空の一つにまで手出そうとしてんのかどういう連中なんだ橘不動産は町に事務所構えてるようなまっとうな会社じゃねえ俺も聞きかじりだけどよ一言で言えカムロ町に特化した不動産乗っ取りのスペシャリストだ不動産乗っ取りああ今カムロ町は狭い土地に飲み屋やら風俗やら店がひしめき合って空きがねえしかもそのほとんどを登場界の極道たちが仕切ってるだが立花不動産はそのカムロ町の鉄の壁に穴を開けることができるんだ鉄の壁に穴を開けるどんなに繁盛してる店だろうが橘不動産が目をつけりゃ数日もたずに中の人間は追い出されちまう金脅迫嫌がらせヤクザ顔負けのやり口で店潰しちゃ空きになった不動産を転売するって話だたとえ登場会のケツ持ちと勝ち合おうがお構いなしにな今時の不動産周りは金の足掴み競争だ得体の知れない連中が群がってるけどその中でも立花不動産は札付きだ登場会本家も連中を排除しようと追ってるらしい本家かそのくらい厄介な連中ってことだ
けどそいつらがおめえの味方につくとなると面白くなるな信用できる相手ならの話だなんで俺を引き込もうとするのか立花の腹が読めねえなら明日少し突っ込んで立花不動産を調べてみようぜ探ってみる価値はあるいや調べるのは俺一人でやるあお前が俺と一緒に動けば堂島組に目をつけられるお前は関わるな桐生組抜けると決めた時から一人でやるのは覚悟の上だ The next day. Very interesting that he's already considering taking Tachibana's offer. So it looks like now we might get some side quests. And then we can also deal with real estate. And god damn it, I forgot I broke the cardinal rule again of Let's Playing. I'm just going to. I'm going to hit my head with my hand. But for that, I'm going to fix the notification issue right now. So I fixed the issue and you want to know what was going to, what the issue was. The issue was that I select, deselected everything that pops up to give a notification except for friends coming online. So that was my mistake, unfortunately. But now that the issue is fixed, we can hopefully have an interruption free let's play of Yakuza Zero. So. Do we go and get information, or do we not go and get information? It doesn't s Whoa. What's going on here, man? Oh, looks like I've drawn the ire of some men in black here. That's okay. They're going to drop like flies. Come here, man. There we go. Get punched. I want to finish somebody with one of the- ooh. Potted plant. Let's go, man. Oh my. That's nice. I was gonna say, why were we frozen in that little frame there? But it, lo it looks like everything is fixed now. So as, as I, I was saying, let's see, is there any actual information here that we can get? No? It doesn't look like there's a, a specific quest marker. Just exactly what we are looking for as far as distractions and things, but Okay, well, maybe we'll just go through the town here and eventually what's supposed to happen will happen. Okay, here we go We got a million yen vending machine. It's a dream machine. Let's make our dreams come true. We've got two mil Let's make our dreams Come true a million yen. What do we got? Stamina spark Okay, well that's a, that's a high value item it looks like, that's that's good I guess. Spark charges your health and heat to their maximum levels, so maybe we can use something like that in a pinch. I certainly wouldn't mind a high value item like that to just pull out in our time of absolute necessity. Oh, here we go. Oi. Uh oh, the Yakuza Brass. I was trying to find this guy too, because obviously Tajiban has been a thorn in their side. So that's good. Looks like we'll get some information. I wonder if we have to tail them or something to that effect. But I guess we'll figure it out once these guys are done talking. Hmm. It was very interesting that Nishikiyama was describing Tachibana's business as something that doesn't have an office. That everything is sort of like underhanded dealings with money and you don't really need to have an HQ. There we go. Okay. So we're, they're going to try to hit him where it hurts. And we can hit up that building for information. That's good. I wonder how we can tell which buildings are his. I'll look at the map in just one moment here. Oh! You want to fight, boys? Let's go! More men in black? No problem, fam. 
There we go. I like it. I like it. Come here, you. Let's finish with the traffic cone. <laughs> I like it. And just like that, we got our million back from the Dream Machine. It's very interesting to see that we're getting lots of completion points now. Hardcore hooligan. Oi. Oh yes, that pomp. I like the music that's coming on, this is great. <laughs> it never would end well. <laughs> this is great. This guy just doesn't know what identity he wants to have. I love it so much. Kiryu, I'm asking myself the same question. Okay, there we go. Damned Yankee, we got our first side story here just from having some guy trip over our leg. I wonder if we're gonna have to have him become a a uh, a real hooligan, not just some part-time hooligan, not some some weak-ass hooligan. But it looks like there's something going on in the theater square here, so let's head over this way. I wonder if that's also related to the... Oh, no, there he... Oh, no, it wasn't him. Uh, I thought there was something that we were supposed to meet someone here. Oh, no, no, it looks like we got like a bunch of wannabe hooligans here. A rough looking crowd, I agree. <laughs> Yokomichi Silvers. It's like some street gang that wants like fanboying or something like that. Bunch of Yankees. Cosplaying? Kind of like an Elvis rock band or something. Ah, oh, look at him. Let's go talk to him. This is great. <laughs> 